is so good. Hey, Worship Leader, welcome back to the channel. It has been a crazy few days. Line 6 updated their firmware to the 3.15, and we've been having a lot of fun with it. I've made a couple videos over the last few days. One was when I was just walking through all the effects that I could fit into one video uh, blindly. I looked at them and listened to them the same time you did, so that was fun. If you haven't seen that, go check that video out. I'll link it below. And then I also made a video on how to step-by-step -step update EdChakes Edit and your Helix device. So if you haven't, some of the things I said in the first video, now that I've had time with these new parameters, some of them you just need to spend a little more time with them. And so that's what we're gonna do today. Also, the second thing is I updated the expanse pack like the day before this firmware update dropped. And so I put a new preset in there and I was like, hey everybody go look at this new preset. Cool, then the next day the firmware update happens. We got all this new stuff. And so I played through this new update a lot now and I updated the expanse pack the expanse pack with seven new presets and so what I want to do today is walk you through them because I've had questions like hey I'm an expanse pack member but I don't understand exactly how to like get and re-download and if you don't understand what it is it's a one-time purchase not a membership uh, one-time purchase you get access to like a member area and I up I, I upload new updates tongue twister uh, as often as I feel like it when I have new stuff that I want to share with you guys um, those of you who purchased it a long time ago you've been getting these updates for free all the time like I said it's a member area so you just log in and whatever files in there is the newest file I will say I need to publicly apologize to my helix expanse pack members because the 2.1 these are my numbers not not line six but i had a 2.1 update where i had like this bass and electric guitar preset where you could switch back and forth between the two and i've been using it live especially when i didn't have a bass player anyways i'm talking too much rambling i said i updated it and i updated all the other units but i uploaded the wrong file i uploaded the 2.0 file and it didn't have that new preset in it anyways i'm so sorry about that so that updates in there then it's the 2.2 update that i just did the other day and now there's a 2.3 update with all of this stuff so let's plug it in i'll let you hear what it sounds like but first for those of you who care i'm going to show you step by step what you get when you get the expanse pack how to download it and how to make sure you see the new stuff versus the old stuff because yes as time goes there's gonna be more and more presets in there i don't know how many presets are in there right now but it's it's a lot so what you'll do is you go to heyworshipleader.com and log in once you've logged in, you can see all the expanse packs. I have all of them, huh, how about that? You can see all the expanse packs that you own. Once you click on it, let's just do the HX effects. Let's don't do HX effects. Let's do Stomp XL since that's the unit I have out right here. You can actually click either of these pictures, the picture or the button, and then you get a link and it is an expanse pack XL 2.3. Once you open it, you have here some files to look at. Let's look at it like this. You have the uh, PDF. I would suggest reading that first. I would suggest reading that first. I would suggest reading that first. I'm gonna have to repeat myself three times in all my videos now. Um, yeah, read this first. And there may be some mistakes in here, but for the most part, it tells you everything you need to know. Um, this update is for 3.15 or newer. See, I've updated everything. Um, you click this anytime. If you don't know where to go, it's just the same button that goes to the website. If you click it, it'll just take you right back to the website. There it is. Go down here, update your firmware. Boom, yes, you need to do that. You need to update your firmware. And then there's just some other things explaining generally what's what's true about all these presets and then here's what's included right now we have the new expanse 2.3 update includes seven new presets with features from the new firmware update it includes pads 2 we're going to get to that in a second a shimmery version of the original pads preset that you can also play on top of it's, it's my favorite thing to, to do it's awesome um, you can read more notes down below at the update 1.9 is when i first sent those out and then we also have this these other three presets and we're going to walk through them and then here's all the past updates and what they've included and there's a bunch of stuff in here anyways you close that out and then you have well, look the new 2.3 update and then you have previous update contents and so here are all the folders you can look here there's the this is the 2.1 or the 2.0 the 2.1 update, the 2.2 update, uh, everything before that was just in these folders. So we have acoustic sims, there's two in there. The all-in-one presets, there's a bunch of those. There's the dynamic split blocks on a video series I did like a long time ago. Just some fun stuff to play around with. Um, expression, I did an expression, like expression for your, I did a video about expression and I walked through a bunch of presets and then I just included these in the expanse back because why not? Here's a bass preset that I use when I play live. Here are all the reverbs. I did a reverb series and I thought I would just include those presets in here. Um, a couple swells, we have the regular swell and cinematic swell. And then, uh, let's see, oh, the worship pads presets. 
and the worship templates. These are templates that I use basically on a Sunday morning. I like the way that I have these two set up and then I would just like copy and paste a certain amp that I may want in there. And you could trade out different effects, but those are kind of like my go-to. So I just uploaded them as presets. And then, yeah, let's see what's in the new stuff. Boom, there they go. We have these presets we're gonna walk through right now. And all you would do is just drag and drop each folder into HX Edit. Now you can't drag the folder, but you gotta click on it and drag in what you want like this and you just release it and you say yes and there they go. They're all in there, just like that. And I just organized it so you're not dumping like a ton of stuff. You can choose what you want to dump in there at the at a time. And then you can just like delete them just like this. And uh, let's see, actually how I delete them is I highlight some empty presets and I just drag it up like this. I say yes, I want to override those. And then there they're gone. And then you can just save all this. And if for some reason you lose all these files, guess what? You can log back into heyworshipleader.com and download the most recent set and you're good to go. So I had a couple questions and that was the first one. Please make a video of how you navigate the expanse pack. There it is. Hopefully that helps you. The second one was, does how does master volume affect channel volume and the other way around? And probably specifically with the new amp. And so, uh, yeah, we're gonna cover that right now. Let's plug it up and listen to some of these sounds. These little wireless um, things are just, just fantastic. They're wireless, they have a case that charges them. They're linked in my gear page if you wanna check them out. Transmitter, guitar, receiver, stomp, headphones, Sennheiser HD 600s. Guitar is the Reverend Gil Paris Natural. It's got a humbucker, humbucker, single coil in the middle. I can get a lot of great tones, love this thing. And uh, yeah, let's go to our first preset here. HWL ADT, which is, um, oh man, what's the A? Dual tape, for analog dual tape? I can't remember what the A stood for, ugh. Anyways, here it is. This is what it sounds like. Here's how the amp is dialed in. I'll go ahead and share it with you guys. This is how I like dialing it in. Um, the master, to answer that master volume question, every amp is different. Sometimes the master needs to be dimed out at 10. A lot of them do, but some of them don't. They get a little flubby, and this is one for me, and it might just be the way it's set up, how I have it set up here in the hum and the sag, the ripple, the bias, and even this HP filter. I have, when you come all the way down, it adds a lot of bass to it, although I've taken the depth out, which is also some bass. Um, so this is how it sounds with my guitar. If your guitar is um, different than mine and it's it needs more low end, you can come this way and add more depth and then you can mess with the bias and the bias crossover. But this is how I have it set up and this is how I like it. I mean, yes, that was a neck pickup. So on this preset, we have the next snapshot is a wet plate. I added the Cali EQ to kind of give it a little mid boost. Snapshot two is wet plate. Snapshot three is the deco slap because it's kind of like got this slapback feeling. It's a it's a double tracking effect, and then you have modulation on it as well. Sounds like this. Love that sound, and I also included here the uh, the Scream 808, which is more of a uh, this is more of a two screamer, obviously. And then this here is how I'm setting up the Cali EQ, which is more like a uh, I I doubt it in to be more like a blues breaker sound. So here's the clean again. Actually, let me go back to snapshot one, so it's just kind of clean. So here we go, clean amp, graphic EQ. Kind of brighter, more like the amp. It pushes the amp a little bit. And then the tube screamer. More mid scooped. And then you could stack them.
Yeah, so anyways, back to the Deco Slap. <laughs> Sounds good. And then the last one here, I always get confused which is a uh, snapshot up and down because the helix is the opposite. This is down and the other one is up. Helix is up, but anyways, maybe there's a way to change that. I just haven't found it yet. And here is just something super ambient, super swell. Yeah, so that's what that sounds like. Let's go back up to the, um, I got a bunch of cool stuff here. Let's do the pads, the shimmer pads. So I already have pads in the expanse pack. This is the expanse pack right here. There it is. I think that's everything in there. Um, and I have these other pads somewhere in there, right here. Um, these are what the old pads sound like. This fourth snapshot is off. And the first snapshot kind of puts a pad under there. And then you can play on top. So that's what that pad sounds like, but the new ones with this new shimmer sound really good. So we're in the key of E. And you just play on top of it. It's a beautiful thing. And then I have two settings where you can click up an overdrive and also click up a uh, the mix on the the playing the your tone of the reverb. Is so good and then you can up your drive if you want and if you want to change keys you just go to the next snapshot now in the key of B And you go to the next preset and choose whatever you want. So let's go to the key of D. I could do that all day, but I won't. All right, here is the Vaughn, if you look at the title here, Vaughn 2, that's the name of the new amp as far as I understand it. I had to Google it, it's, it's French. It looks like Vanto or something, Vaughn 2. 
Vaughn 2. I'm probably saying it wrong, so I just put Vaughn 2. XX for crisscross. Crisscross will make you want to jump, jump. There it is, Rob. Uh, I made that joke in the other video and I cut it because it was corny, but I did it anyways. Anyways, uh, and then we have some shimmer. So I spoke badly about the shimmer in the other video. I just couldn't figure it out. Somebody pointed out that I was doing it in mono, which that definitely didn't help. Uh, but I spent some time with it and I figured it out and I, re I really like it. Um, I'll show you some settings here in a second. So the Vaughn 2 crisscross shimmer. This is what it sounds like. Clean. So this is the this is the preset that I would use like on a Sunday or, or something that I would use where I actually did a dual cab mic'd up how I like it with the EQ, which is a, a trick I did a few videos back. Um, and it just it just helps it have like a nice full sound. So that's my tone. I have a room reverb. And yeah, let's go through the snapshots. Oh, I think the snapshots, all the snapshots do in this amp, the amp set up the same way as the other one. Um, but the snapshots just actually make the amp dirtier. These other effects you just toggle on and off per snapshot. So clean. <laughs> Dirty. Dirtier. Now if you're on the regular HX Stomp, you only have three snapshots. Those are the ones you get. But since there's a fourth here, I just dimed it out and just, just see what it sounds like all the way. EQ. So that sounds pretty good. So let's go back down to let's do dirty. This one. Honestly, I'd probably leave it on clean. And then Cali EQ to boost. That's, that's enough crunch for me. Uh, and then we have some other effects. We have the crisscross. Let's take this off. So you can hear it going, it's not, the mix isn't up too high. That way you, it's more of like a rhythm tone, but it fills out your space, it's not so dry. I just love that. And then we have um, the, uh, the chorus here, so. I got it dialed in kind of subtle. Um, the mix is way down, because this is a, a thick, a very thick chorus, and I really like it. And so if you want more of that mix, you just bring it on up, but that's how I like it. And then we have the shimmer. So let's turn the delay off, and this is just the shimmer. So yeah, there's my settings. Um, I've played with this. The pitch one is all the way up. And the pitch two, I did like the fifth instead of the seventh. I played it octave up and just down a few cents. I played with it octave down. It, it all sounds really good once you've um, dialed it in the way you like it. This intensity is what I spoke about that I couldn't find in the other video where you can actually just take the intensity out and you just have the reverb, right? So that's the reverb without the shimmer. Bring it back in. Mm. 
I mean, it sounds really good. Um, the pitch balance, I have it balanced more to the A path. Um, the pre-delay is down. I like the bigger room on this one. The dampening I took all the way off, so there's no dampening. If it's too harsh for you, you just bring that dampening down. I like the diffusion all the way up because that just makes it the most airy. But if you want more like precise um, shimmer, I guess you could take the diffusion off and that'll be more like direct and less diffused. And then um, some, I don't know if I messed with the low cuts or not. I might've brought it up just a little bit so it wouldn't have, uh, I don't remember if that was stock or not, honestly. Um, and I like the luster more than the sheen. I think in the, the notes it said you could stack these, which I've, I've yet to do, but I, I love this. I should take a time, take a time. I should take the time to uh, put this up against the Jet Revelation uh, because that right now has been my favorite shimmer of all. But this is, this is pretty good. And the fact that you can, you can customize it yourself. You can, it's, it's very versatile. So let me put it on with the, the delay too and then I'll add the chorus and just get some shimmery beautifulness. And then we have one more preset to look at so don't go anywhere because it's one of my favorite. Good. All right, one more preset. Now, a while back, I did something called the, oh, I forgot what it's called, the Wall of Sound Challenge, actually, with um, with um, with Alec Bourne. He put us up to the test to try to see if we can make some really cool sounds. And I did a preset that was similar to this, but now I added the shimmer, and then I also added the um, oh, the retro reel, which is not new to this this update. It was new to the 3.0, I think. And, uh, and made it just sound different. So this is the HWL Parallel 2, where I was putting all this super ambient stuff down on a second parallel path and kind of customizing and making our own reverb. And, uh, and what it does is you can play on top of it, but it kind of acts like a, a pad underneath. Uh, yeah, so this first one, I have different snapshots here. So the first one, Stars, Wonder is the second snapshot. That's actually kind of my favorite. Um, Infinite, and then since uh, I built this for, with three um, snapshots in mind, but boost just like boost the signal so you can play a little louder. But so here is stars, just something that's just reminding me of stars because I have the delay up way too much. But this is what it sounds like. <laughs> amongst the stars. <laughs> What the retro reel is doing at the end there it kind of has like an 80s vibe with the wow and flutter all right so here's wonder this is this is my my favorite infinite. I have this set up to snapshots right now because when you click through the different snapshots, it changes. 
based on what's needed for that sound. But if you wanted to take down the B level, you could set up um, this right here to be on an expression pedal. And then you could like have less of that reverb or more if you wanted. Your taste might be like, oh, that's way too much. Um, and that's, that's fine, that's what it's for. You can you could customize that yourself if you want. Yeah, so there it is, that's all the new stuff. And then here's that bass uh, preset. So here's the guitar part. Love it. But I wanna play bass, so I'm gonna turn this one on and. I love that, if you wanna play both at the same time, You can add overdrive. Put overdrive or fuzz on the bass. Sounds good. All right, so there it is. Hopefully I answered some of your questions that you guys were asking me about the Expanse pack, about the presets that are in here, how I'm now dialing in the shimmer. I think it is an excellent shimmer. I'm definitely gonna do head to head with the Jet because the Jet, you know, the Jet Revelation, it's amazing. I'm, I'm not getting rid of that thing. But the fact that you can dial this in, it is DSP heavy, but as you saw, I can make these presets with it. And so it's, it's really good. If you are thinking, oh, do I want an HX Stomp as an all-in-one rig or I want it with other pedals, uh, more and more, you can do everything you want to do all-in-one with these units. It's just DSP is still a problem, especially with some of these newer files just being a lot bigger. So you just got to be smart about how you build your presets. If you want more information, if you want to read everything that's in the Expanse Pack, click the link below, go shopping. If you already are an Expanse Pack member, Hit me up if you're having problems, but you can just log into your member area and uh, get your files. They're there right now. If you're into watching videos like this, but you're also into like reading and seeing pictures, I've created a Tone Secrets Guide free PDF for you. It's linked down below. If you want that, go grab it. My free gift to you. Also, like this video. If you thought it was helpful, I'd really appreciate it. We're gaining subscribers. Where are we at? 8,597. So we're almost at 8,600. I'm really trying to get to, to 10,000 as soon as possible just because that sounds like a good time to celebrate, right? And I think some things unlock on YouTube at 10,000. I'm not sure, I didn't really look into it. Anyways, thank you guys for hanging around. Thanks for watching these videos. I really appreciate you guys. Keep reaching out to me, ask me questions. I try to get to them as quickly as I can. Yeah, I love doing this. Love hanging out with you guys. That's all I got. Have a good day, bye.